Take a minute to calm down. We'll get round to you soon enough. Just one call, please. That's all. Just one call. How much money have you got left? Um, 20 quid. You're going to spend all your money on Billy? I have to. I think this is the place. You think Billy might be here? All that other bloke said he'd seen a bookie here yesterday. If he was telling the truth. Why would he lie? To get the money you offered him? I believe him. Nice day. Can I help you? Um, I'm looking for Billy. Billy? I know a few Billies. Now, which Billy are you looking for? Uh, Billy Mayhew. Uh, he's a vicar. Oh, vicar Billy. Yeah, I know vicar Billy. Billy, is he inside? Nah, not this time of day. Do you know where he is? Yeah, I do. Uh, maybe we should look inside anyway. Um, I'll give you ten pounds if you tell me where he is. Ten pounds? That's a tempting offer. Twenty's better. Okay, 20. Maybe you and me can do a deal. Okay, so where is he? Money first. Don't give it to him. I'll give you the money as soon as you tell me where he is. I'll do better than that. I'll show you where he is. Come on, follow me. Do you want to find Billy or not? Come with me. Where is he? You said you knew where he was. Money first. I'll have that phone and all. You don't know where he is. I know where everyone is if the price is right. Now give me the phone and the money. You got phone and all. You come near me, and I'll phone the police. You two girls have wandered into the wrong part of the forest. No vicar Billy is going to save you, we are. Now give me the money. Amy. Amy. Who was that bloke? He was so horrible. He, he said he knew where Billy was. What are you doing here, anyway? You should be at school. Hello? Billy. What, what, where are you? I can't hear you. Slow down. Here, look, come here, give me a Hey, Billy, it's Peter. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Where are you? Right, okay. Come on, girls. Yeah. All right, just calm down. What do you think you were doing? Well, it was my idea, not Amy's. You were both lucky I was there. What about Billy? Oh, we can't leave him locked up in a police station on his own. No. I mean, if he gets convicted of any kind of drug offence... He had an accident and he was in a lot of pain. That's why he took drugs. Not sure anyone knows for sure what Billy's situation is. And with that in mind, I think we should probably keep this to ourselves. I think that's a good idea. I can tell my mum, though. Yeah. I'd rather you didn't tell anyone. Flaming neck, the wholesalers have let me down again. And I've got four weddings and a funeral this week. Yes, I know. I've seen the movie. I'm living the life. And now my phone's died. Have you seen my charger? Uh, in the kitchen by the bread bin. Well, who put it there? Oh, never mind. Why aren't you at school? Burst pipe. Typical. Listen, uh, keep an eye on the girls. I need to make a phone Yeah, right. sure. Right. To be honest, the brief's here. I'm Adam Barlow, Billy Mayhew's solicitor. If I could have a couple of moments with my client alone, please. Five minutes. Put ourselves before the interview begins. You can't represent me. Not after what I did. Billy, you're in trouble. And I'm a solicitor. This is classy drugs we're talking about. I don't want a solicitor. Listen, I don't... Someone I need to tell you. I was involved in the accident that killed your mum. I'm so, so sorry. I know. You know? I know everything. 
Listen, for a while I was out of control too. Me giving you those painkillers helped put you here. I wanted to hurt you, Billy. But nothing I do and nothing you say will bring her back, will it? Now let's get you out of here. I deserve to be here. I'm not arguing with you. You need to tell me everything the police have said to you and everything you've said to them. No. Just, just leave me here. I'm not leaving here without you. Billy. He got caught up in a drugs raid. Obviously, he was hanging out with known addicts in his capacity as a vicar, helping the needy and vulnerable. So, can he go home? Yeah. Luckily, he had nothing on him when the cops swooped. She's somewhere okay. She's had a frightened on the phone. Yeah, her and Amy went out to look for you. Is she okay? Yeah, mate, she's fine. Right, I need to go. I know. I really need to go. Billy, we're going to help you. If you want to help me, just, just give me some cash and let me go and get what I need. I've got a better plan. Come on. I've just won a brew. Uh, no, no, thanks, mate. I've left me dad babysitting the girls, so... My chance to do some babysitting, eh? Well, make sure summer's OK while you get yourself better. Thanks. Where's Eileen? Oh, she's on her way back. Apparently, everything's sorted. OK, right, we'll, uh, we'll get off. Hey, uh, just watch him pay, sneaky, OK? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Billy boy. Peter said there was a, a plan. What's the plan? The plan? The plan. The plan, Billy, is for me to bash some sense into that thick, junky skull of yours. That's the plan. Where's Eileen? Never mind about Eileen. Have you any idea? I do. Yeah, and I'm truly sorry. Nah, you're not sorry. I am. Nowhere near sorry enough. I have to listen to my wife crying every night over what she's lost because of you. You rob from Eileen? You steal from Eileen? And she still wants to help you. And you're supposed to be a man of God. You're leaving this trail of destruction behind you. I don't know what to do. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Oh, I think you know what you need to do. I am an utterly worthless human being. No argument there, Vicar. Please just let me go. If I did, what would you do for me? I won't come back. I promise. I won't harm anybody else. I don't deserve to be around good people. I think you're finally beginning to see the light. Now, on your knees. Get on your knees! And beg ah, for forgiveness! Ah, ah, ah. Pray, Vicar! Stop praying! Come on, I can't hear you! You had everything. You had a job. A calling, Billy! A calling! A family! More family than I ever had. Hey, but you threw it all away. You lied. You cheated. You stole from your friends. You put that stuff into your arm. Please forgive me. You think he's there, Billy? Hey? Do you think he can hear you? Hey? Or oh, maybe he's forgotten you, Billy. Hey? Maybe he's cast you out, Billy. Hey, maybe there's no redemption for a lying, cheating, stealing junkie. No redemption. No God. Hey? Are you scared, Billy? Hiya. Are you really scared? Then say it. I'm scared. Louder! I'm scared. You're pathetic, Hugh. Do you know that? You don't deserve everything they're trying to do for you. Please just let me go. You look at me. 
You're gonna beat this, and do you know why? If you fail again, if you let us down again, it will be the last thing you do. Do you understand? I will come for you. Ah. Hey, love, we're in here. Oh, Billy. I'm so sorry. He's full of remorse, love. It doesn't matter, love, as long as you're all right. We've brought someone to help you. Well, I must say, I've seen it looking better. John, you've told the bishop everything. Are you OK? No. Come here. I have let you down. And I've let Drew down. Don't. You were in pain and you needed drugs. You just went a bit far. And they said that they could make you better. What? Yeah, I've uh, found your place in a Christian rehab centre. Car's outside. I'm going to take you now. Eileen and someone can come to, you know, help you settle in. But then I'm afraid. It's a long road to recovery. You did that for me. From what I understand, Billy, this rehab stuff only works if it's something you really want to do. Is it something you really want to do? Yes. Yes, please. Despite all this far down, that's heroin for you. Well, this is in the right place now. Yeah, if you want to. Set you back. Look, before you start, I called Adam to help Billy, and he got him off a drugs charge today, and he's helped us get him into a rehab program. Listen, I know I'm at least partially responsible for getting him hooked, but hopefully he's on the road to recovery now. Um, Leanne needs a hand in the bar. Sure. <laughs> Spur of the moment thing. Peter called, said Billy been arrested. So what now? Well, it depends. No, um, on me and you. Uh, no, there's there's no future there. Are you sure? I'll well, advise how you feel. I'll see you around. Thank you, lads. You finished then? No, I just decided to try standing on me tiptoes. It's cheaper. You know, I shan't miss you and your missus. In fact, uh, if you're having a going away party, I should hire a phone box. Oh, we will have a party, all right to celebrate not having to look at your face anymore. Oh, you should have come in, it's all right, his face got that. Oh, I know, but every time I see him, he pulls a 50 pence from behind me. I think you're self lucky, you only pulled 20 pence out of mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, he drives straight mad. Yeah, well, at least he gives us something else to think about, eh? Can't be easy seeing the mum banged up. Well, for you. I don't know why we held it together in there. Last thing Mum needed to see was a little falling apart. Hey, she was made up about you getting that job. You're too right, she's more happy about it than I am. Well, it's not too late. You'll have money in your pocket still, you're here. <laughs> uh, I know, but it's just... You're just going to feel weird going into Legacy Reach every day. Why, well, feeling's not going to be hanging around, is he? Who knows, you might even get to find out what he was so nervous about up there. Mm. Mona. I was just about to ring you. You know I haven't received final payment for... No, I didn't get. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's all this coming from? You need to settle up, Mona. I'm relying on that money. What problem? Yeah, okay. Face to face suits me. See you at two o'clock. I'm bringing you a checkbook. 
Is your wife in? No. How's she doing? Still sick? Yeah, not as sick as me. Where's the money I'm owed? Yeah, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You what? I did the work. You've made a complete hash of the work. I appreciate you've been under a strain, but the fact remains, you've put thousands of pounds worth of concrete at the wrong temperature. The pillars are fine. Not anymore, they're not. They're crumbling. They're going to have to be demolished. Do what? End of next week. Mona, you can't... We've no choice. We're going to have to pull them down before they fall down. So, I'm afraid I won't be writing you any checks. The only paperwork you'll be receiving is a letter from my solicitor. I'll see myself out. Hey, there you go. Any problems? You know where I am. The amount you charge would be floating on a yacht in the Bahamas, here. Well, now that doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Of course, I'd need paying first. Ah, don't worry. I'll transfer the rest of the money tonight. Sooner the better. Well, you must have a lot on your plate in a while, so good luck. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong. We could be up and running in about two or three weeks, then. We can't wait that long. We've got jobs lined up already. It's an a load of the machines. You sort out the machinists. I've already put an ad in the cabin with We'll talk to the girls, see who's willing to come back. Look, it might be easy coming from you. I mean, I'm not their biggest fan, am I? Aidan, they might not want your autograph, but they will want the jobs back. And as fence mending goes, that's not a bad start, is it? Right, come on, let's get cracking. OK. A new scientist. A bit advanced, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, I don't get all of it, but it's quite interesting. Yeah. Can anyone apply? You can do better. Do you not want to go to uni? Well, I want to do astronomy. Wow. Brian Cox, look out. <laughs> yeah, but that won't help Billy now. If I could earn some money while he's still recovering. Listen, I'm sure you'd make a brilliant machinist. But that'd be a waste. But the best way to help Billy is by hitting the books, going to uni, and becoming that astrologer. Astronomer. Astronomer. Right. Look, what I'm saying is, follow your dreams, Summer. Make Billy proud. Hmm? Oh, something smells nice. Really? It's microwaving a potato and heating up some beans. I got you these. What are they for? I shouldn't have lied to you. I shouldn't have had to lie. I shouldn't have ripped off my friends. I know. I just want another chance. And I'm sticking it out, aren't I? Just be thankful for that. Anything more than that is going to take time. Not from half-dead Gladioli, from Tracy Barlow. Do you know what? You can have this spot and go at the Rovers. Hello. Yeah, I've got a couple of accounts with you, uh, business and, and personal. I was just wondering, how does one go about closing them? Hey, guys. Hey. Right, you got everything you need for school. Summer! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Right. i got to get off, make some calls. See you later. Bye, Summer. Yeah, I know it's not ideal, sweetheart, and you'd rather be in your own room, but at least my dad's a laugh. What do you mean you talk like he's Tom Jones in impersonation? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I do. Well, the fact is that whilst that scumbag's still living over the road and in our lives, you're just going to have to put up with it. Yeah, and he's cooking. All right, you, you better go now, because you're going to be late. I'll call you later. I love you. Yeah, bye-bye, bye. Everything all right? No, it's not, actually. I've just had to explain to my daughter yet again why she can't live in her own home. Because it's not safe, thanks to your husband. So you and him better get that house on the market quick. Or the police are going to get a phone call about that scam of his. Ah, hello, you. I'm going to drop by yours later. Just have a chat, see how you're doing. Yeah, I can't stay until I've got to go back to work. Oh. You don't seem too keen, even for you. <laughs> Not exactly a lap a minute, is it? Not with Tim there. Is he still going on about you and Pat moving? threatened to go to the place again today. Eileen, oh. I know you said you've made up your mind, but is it really what you want? This is your home. I don't feel like it. Not anymore, so what choice have I got? Hey, Eileen. 
leaving on my account, eh? Hey? It's got to go back to work. See you later. Goodbye. I hope you haven't been upset in there. <laughs> and step on your toes. Why would I want to upset her? She's my friend. Mm. Friends can outgrow each other, can't they? Yeah. And how would you know? Hello? Yes, speaking. Oh, yeah, the cottage. Yes. Yes, I'm very interested. It's all right. How's it going? Yeah, nearly finished this lot. I'm impressed. Especially considering who your last gaffer was. What do you mean by that? He said you used to work for Pat Phelan. Yeah, so? You see that bod's job over there? What, these pillars? Yeah, he did them. Two days before he was supposed to. Now have a guess why they're such a mess. I don't know. Because the dozy pillet decided to do them alone after everyone else had clocked off. And during a rainstorm to boot. Why? I'll never know. So, now we've got to knock them down. Start again. Oh, who is it? When? They didn't say. All, all I heard was I'm talking about knocking down these pillars because of the mess you made of them. Look, look. I've done what you, I've done what you told me to. So when am I gonna get my 80 quid? Well, Pat? Pat, you there? Flaming no man. Gary? Yeah, it's me. I I'm just at the site, but uh, can you and Tim meet me later? I need to talk to you, right? I think. I know where feelings hidden the gun he used on Luke. Hey, love. You home? Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> Spilt coffee all down my front. I had to climb and change. Not having a good day. You could say that. Well, hopefully this will cheer you up. What do you think, hey? Three bedroom. Big garden. Five minute walk from the sea. Mm -hmm. Looks lovely. That's what I thought, so I call the estate agent. And I've got us a bit of a deal, sort of a test drive. What do you mean? Well, I told them we were very interested. It was just the sort of thing we were looking for, but we'd like to check the area out first. So, they've offered to rent it to us for a week. Hey? Right? Before we make a decision. What do you think? Listen, love, I know I've messed up. I know that I've hurt you. This could be, you know... An opportunity to get away for a week, just the two of us. This could be the start of our new life together. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter, because I can't go. Why not? Well, for a start, I can't leave Summer here on her own. Definitely not while Billy's still in rehab. I, I understand that you're worried about them. What about us, love? I don't think you realise what being around here is doing to me. I'm not exactly having a great time myself, but it's not going to be for much longer. We need to get away, love. I need to get away. Yeah, and when we find a buy for the house, we'll go. But until then, we'll have to tell him that we can't make it. Going back to work. Hey, love. How was school? Oh, it was all right, except for biology. I always hated biology. All them slicing frogs and cow's eyeballs. No, it's not that. It's just there's this boy in my class called Isaac, and he kept flipping elastic bands at the back of my head. My boy's so stupid. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. Cup of tea, love? Uh, yeah. Um, what is this? It's a little cottage you've been looking at. I thought me and Arlene could get away for a little break, you know, have a week away. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going now, though. How come? Well, because somebody's got to be here to look after you. Sorry. Oh, no, look, I didn't mean it like that. No, I don't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Bit of a pity, though, eh? Get the idea that Arlene could use a break. It hasn't been an easy couple of months for her. To be honest with you, Sam, I'm a bit worried about her. 
But what can you do? Eh? She's made her mind up, so. Oh, well, maybe I could talk to her or something? Well, that's very sweet of you, but she's never, ever going to leave you on your own, is she? Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be on my own. What do you mean? Just leave it with me. I'll be back in a bit. For two days. And feeling did it all alone when everyone else had gone home. Yeah, that was the night I told you about when I took Arlen over and pulled him out of white concrete. I should have left him there or put my foot on his head and pushed him under. Well, it does sound dodgy, but it still doesn't prove out, does it? Right, well, how about this, then? So after Frank had said that they were going to knock him down and start again, I heard one of the labourers call Phelan and tell him what was going on. And it was obvious from what was said that he was getting paid to do it. So why would Phelan go to all that trouble if, if he wasn't hiding something? I don't know. Why well, do? He's the gun. He's got to be. And we've got to find it before someone else does or it ends up getting lost. Well, are you going to help me or what? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're right. As much as I'd like to see him go under, I can't get involved. I've got a fate to think about, haven't I? I'd like to see him out of here, though. Guess it's just me and you, then. Doing some pink work. Finish your shift? Yeah, someone came to see me. Yeah, I saw her when she got back from school. Mm, I know, I know. You told her about what's going away. Yeah, well, she'd seen the brochure. She asked me about it. You don't mind it? No, that's why I'm here. Um, apparently, Ash has been asking her for a sleepover at her place, so some of the cheeky monkey asked Deb if she could stay for the week while we were away. Hey, I never put her up to that. Oh, I'll believe you. So, what did they say? Deb said, yeah. Does that mean we can go, just the two of us? Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe we do need to get away from here to see if we can sort things out. So when you've finished here, why don't you come home and help me pack? I love you, Eileen. I promise you, you're not going to regret this. for a few days. I see. Make or break. I thought break. And I could have saved you a long drive. Well, anyway, Summer's going to go and stay with Des, so I just wondered if you'd pop in on her. Of course I will. First thing we have to do is get past security. Leave Trevor to me. Well, we're not in Ukraine. You can't just take him on. Well, we don't have to. He's a mate of mine. Lindsay! Hello? Oh, he's in the bog. Yeah, having a kip, you mean. He's born idler, which makes him a great security guard. Come on, Lindsay, you can't hide in the bogs all night, mate! Where's Trevor? You got caught swinging the lead. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, Seb. I, I work here. Yeah, I left my keys behind when I, when I finished. Could you let us in? No chance. I'm not your mate. Look, I've left my house keys in there, man. I'm screwed. And if I allow unauthorised access to the site outside of working hours, I'm screwed too. You know the rules. Right, we're here. I've got an idea. So you're going to be a good girl for Deb? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, she's more than welcome because me casa, su casa. But can you stop annoying me? Yeah, cut it out. So, anyways, where are you going again? Well, I've um... Got the address. Mm -hmm. Hey, good. Uh, cases are loaded. Travel suites are on the dash. So, um, hopefully you won't need it, but we'll be gone a week. No, Summer. I want you to take the very best care of yourself. You hear me? Papa. Okay. 
need to get yeah. going. All right, come on, let's say bye-bye. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bye, bye. Bye. Well, safe journey, guys. Bye. Bye. Where are they off? Yeah, you're going on holiday. It's all right for some, isn't it? Yeah. Love, smell that. See ya. You've got a signal. I've only got one, but half a bar. No. <sighs> you know, it's not the Maldives. This is my dream holiday. Secluded, romantic. I just hope they've got a landline at the cottage. Well, I hope they haven't. I want me and you to have some quality time together. Just because they've come away for a week. Doesn't mean that all our problems have vanished. Uh, most of them have. Make or break, you said, and I am never breaking up with you. Ever. Look at this. Come on. Isn't that beautiful? Every time we lift these, we think of feeling dead. Yeah? Nothing. People are going to start turning up soon. No, we've got an hour yet. You see, we just need to keep looking. Oh, there she is. The love of my life. Should have woken me up. I was out for the count up there. It's all that quiet, you see, love. Shock to the system. Where have you been? I just, uh, I went down the path there, see if I could get a signal. Mm, on your affair phone, texting all your lovers. <laughs> and I bumped into Gareth, who owns the local boat, you know. Mm, Gareth. Come on, love. I know I like them rough, but even I've got standards. Watch it, I could go back, you know. So what were you talking to him about? Well, I've uh, sorted out a little surprise for you this evening. I have rented us a boat. As in a rowing boat? Oh, come on, what you take me for? This one's got a cabin and everything. That way, while I'm fishing for supper, you can put your feet up and quaff this lot. Oh, you fish and I drink. Hmm, like your style. Right, well, if we're going to have a look around the local area, I'm going to go and put my face on. Right. About that, love, you don't think we should be casting our net a little wider, do you? I mean, looking for properties further afield. Where's this suddenly come from? Well, I don't know. I'd get more for our money. Like where? I don't know. Ireland, maybe? Ireland? We haven't even looked round here. I know, love, but... No! You know. You're lucky I've come this far. You can't go moving the goalposts now. Oi! Gary! Oi! What are you two think you're playing at? 
keep going. Hello? Can you hear me? I've been locked in. What's evil with you there? Ordinary. Don't. Can you hear me? You need to get me out. Does someone want to tell me what the hell is going on? Should be grateful. You're not getting down in a few days. You're you? not. And you, you're not even work here. I said pack it in. Yeah, sorry, mate. But I can't do that. Is that right? Well, maybe I should make you. Right. If you won't listen to me, you can listen to the police. These are the two clowns. All night, I've been kept prisoner inside there. Wreaked havoc with my sinuses. Do us a favour and put those down for us, lads. Look. I know this looks weird, all right? But we can't explain. We think Pat Feeling is buried something here. Pat Feeling? Down now. I won't say it again. No, you're not listening. The gun that he used to kill Luke Britton is buried inside here. Look, that's why we're doing it. We're not doing it for fun. I told you they were off his head. You even used that thing to threaten me with. Yeah, and I'll do it again. All right, that's enough. Right, cuff them. Stick them in separate bands. Pat, you know, this should be you do not mention one question, anything which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Right. I see how you like being locked up for the night. Hang on. I think you might want to see this. two units from the building site. They calmed down yet? Well, the younger one was kicking off for a bit. Quieting down now. I did those bodies yet? And the forensics are still working on it. State there, in my guess, is they've been dead ages and got moved there. Any sign of that gun they were banging on about? Oh, just yanking our chain, I reckon. So what do you think they were up to? Moving the bodies again? Hopefully. That's what we're about to find out. Take your time. It's all that's necessary. You could have just cautioned us and let us go. All right, Gary. Dear Swillets, have you been offered a solicitor? Or for a bit of criminal damage? Some further evidence has come to light, so the charge has been changed. Right, so you found the gun then. Gary Windass, I'm re-arresting you on suspicion of murder. You do not have to say anything. But it may harm your defence. What are you talking you're not about? The gun's questions. not mine, it's Pat's, isn't it? Later, later rely on in court. Anything you do say. May be given in evidence. Do you understand? He's the murderer. Okay, fishing rods are on board. Champagne on lunch. Check. You're ready for the high seas, love? Well, as long as they're not too high, because you can count me out. I'm telling you that. Come on, don't be like this, love. How do you expect me to be going on about Ireland out of the blue? Okay, I was an idiot for bringing it up in the first place. I just wanted everything to be perfect for you, that's all. I mean, but I had no right to spring it on you like that. So I'm sorry. Am I forgiven? Depends if you catch me a smoked salmon to go with my champagne. You really have no idea, do you love about sea fishing? No, and I intend to keep it that way. Well, it will be Gareth seeing if we're still coming. But why are you dealing with him? I'm going to go and put another layer on. It's freezing. OK, love. Two sex, love. We've got to try and reinstall some over in the car. What's in the bag? Oh, just some uh, bits for the boat. I thought it'd go down, make a start, you know. Well, hang on a minute. I won't be a sec. Yeah, there's no, uh, no rush, love. I might have to pop off anyway somewhere. No, you don't. Well, you haven't asked why yet. I don't care. You're on holiday. You're not disappearing off like you do at home. I was thinking I'd walk into the village. Well, I'll come with you. Buy you a nice surprise, people. Oh, I don't want a surprise. I want you. What? What? I'm trying, love. I'm 
I'm really trying. What? Trying to enjoy your holiday with me? Oh, come on, Pat, please, just talk to me. You know, all this, me and you, it's just perfect. Except I still need some time on my own, love. You know, some time when I'm not feeling crowded. I crowd you? Just so I can enjoy my time with you even more. Hang on. A minute ago, you were asking me to move to Piggin Island, and now I crowd you. I just need some time on my own sometimes, that's all. Fine. You go fishing on your own. You don't mind? Considering I didn't want to go in the first place, no. Fill your boots. I'm sorry, love. Really, I'm sorry for the way I am. I love you, Eileen. Oh, go away, you're boring me now. I got in touch with Nicola like Yast. She's on her way to see Seb. Now, you need to tell me exactly what's going on. So I'm guessing they found the gun. Pat Phelan's gone. The one that he used to kill Luke. But now, because I was the one trying to get it out of the concrete, they think it was my gun and that I killed him. Luke? Yeah. Right, you're going to have to start at the very beginning. Get that down, yeah. You see, whatever stupid way Jenny goes about it, it's because she wants you all to herself. <laughs> That's it, though. I can't promise her that. However much I love her, my kids have to come first. That's what you sign up for when you become a parent, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you do, but you have to remember. It didn't quite work out for Jenny that way, did it? Oh, it's Eileen. Hello. Eileen. <laughs> How's the cottage? No, hang on. Eileen, say again. I can't hear you. It's a really bad line. Is that any better? That's better. Don't move. Well, I'll try. <sighs> How's things? Oh. How's... Pat. Oh, it's all going fine, then it wasn't. He spun me this line about going to the shops and then admitted that he needed some space, said I was crowding him. Crowding him? What? In the back end of nowhere? Hello. <laughs> oh. Um, hi. Um, I'd better be off. <laughs> Fine, and he's talking about our future and champagne, and the next he's running away from me. I don't know what to do. No, hang on a minute. Just you remember, you don't have to do anything. After what he's done, he's the one who has to shape up. Right? And if he's upsetting you, come back here. Do you hear me? Maybe I'm just overreacting. I mean, all fellas like this space, don't they? Not by the invented golf. <sighs> Listen, if he's making you miserable... No, no, it's not that. I just... Lonely up here, just wanted to hear a friendly voice. I'm not going to give up on him yet. So let's get this straight. You suspected Pat Phelan had a weapon? No, we knew he had a gun, yeah. And he used it to shoot Luke Britton. But he didn't tell the police this. So I had to break in and try and retrieve the gun from a concrete pillar. Yeah, I know it sounds dodgy, but I'm telling you, okay? We didn't tell the police because we knew that you weren't taking it seriously. I couldn't let him get away with it. Can we confirm you found a gun? Like my client is suggesting. No. But we found something else. Two bodies. 
You what? Two bodies. Decided. You're not going anywhere without me. Eileen, sometimes I wish you'd just listen. Why are you shouting at me? I don't want you here, Eileen. I told you. Oh, I spent half my life sneaking around, but actually I should just come out and say it. Sometimes I want to be on my own, OK? You got it? Can I say it any clearer for you? No, I hear you. I love you, Eileen, but sometimes you can be so annoying. Hang on a minute. I can be annoying. You just admitted to yourself. You're always sneaking off somewhere. Have you any idea how annoying that is? Listen. It's this simple. I'm going fishing on my own. I might be some time. OK, got it? So I can have some speed. Yeah, away from you. There. I've said it. I'll see you back at the cottage. No, maybe you won't. Maybe I'll just go home. You know, all this time when everyone was accusing you of all sorts and everything you've done, I stuck by you because I thought there was a good, decent man inside. And for a while, you tricked me. But I can see there's nothing decent about you. You're just a horrible old git. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but... Oh. Have you done, love? You cut yourself. I've lost nothing. I'm fine. Tough It's fine. It's just a scratch. OK, I'm sorry. Sorry for shouting. Listen, love, why don't you just drive home without me? No. I think you should. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is for the best, eh? No, I can't. Yes, you can, love. No, I can't drive home because the keys were in the hamper. Well, can you get somewhere that you can call a cab? Oh, now you're worried about me. OK, forget it. Eileen, why are you limping? I'm not. Eileen. Eileen. What have you done? I hurt my foot. I kicked the ground when I kicked the hamper. Get off! Uh. Yeah. Hello? Right, I need you to listen carefully, cos I don't have long. Guy didn't want me to call you first, cos we don't have Eileen's number. Tim. Tim, can you hear me? Tim. Please tell me that you're joking. No, I'm not joking. No, Tim. OK, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try now, I'll try now. Does anybody know where Eileen might be? Eileen, I, listen, it's Tim, I, and when you get this message, I need you to call me back straight away, OK? Gary smashed up the concrete that Pat poured in and the, they found a couple of bodies. And they think that Pat killed him. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to find out where you are and we're going to get the police and we're going to come and get you, okay? But if you if you're with him, Eileen, you've got to stay calm and you've got to get out there as fast as as fast as you can. As fast as you can. I'll keep trying this number. Flipping egg. Listen, I'm on the coast somewhere. She wrote down the address. I've got it in the shop. Come, I'll come with you. I'll ask me mum. See if she knows. Look at your foot. What would you think? Are you Duncan? Suddenly, some kind of doctor. Okay, fine. Fine. Anything yet? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go and see if I can get a signal over there. Yeah, you do that, then you can get back to your fishing boat. Oh, Pat! You have one new message. Eileen, listen, it's Tim. And when you get this message, I need you to call me back straight away, okay? Gary smashed up the concrete that Pat poured in and the They've found a couple of bodies. And they think that Pat killed him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna find out where you are, we're gonna get the police, and we're gonna come and get you, okay? But if you if you're with him, Arlene, you've got to stay calm and you've got to get out there as fast as as fast as you can. 
as fast as you can. I'll keep trying this compound. All right, Tim. Oh, no, 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 no. Careful, love. You do yourself a mischief there. And enjoy. No, no, uh, nothing. You? Yeah, I managed to order you a taxi, but they said you might have to wait an hour or so. Oh, that's fine. Shouldn't you get off? It's, uh, it's, it's getting dark. Yeah, it's called night fishing, love. So to the point, it has to be dark. Besides, I can't leave you here like this. No, honestly, I'm fine. You, you go. So this is goodbye, then? What? Well, are you going to be waiting for me at the cottage when I get back, or have you run out of patience? Let oh, me say, we just need some space, so you go fishing and I'll go back to the cottage and we can talk later. Well, whatever happens when this holiday's over, let's remember the happy times. Street continues in half an hour. Okay, it was just there. I know it. What? She didn't say anything else. Used to cottage by the sea. Mm. Okay. Eileen, Eileen, it's Tim. Where are you? Is it with us and Keys today, eh, love? Ali, can you hear me? Ali, did you get the message? Who are you talking to? Nobody. Oh! Listen, if, if, if you can hear me, you've got to try and tell us where you are, OK? Because Pat is dangerous. They think that he's killed two people. Eileen. No. Not Eileen. No. I swear to God, Pat, if you touch her. Hello? Hello? Is he there with her? No, I said something about a lighthouse, the first word being north. Tim? Y yeah, he's there with her. No, that can't be true. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. All right, listen, let's just find it, shall we? So, um, what do you say? Lighthouse is what, north something what? Hello? Please. Yeah, I need to speak to someone who's investigating Pat Phelan. Look, I can't hang around here doing nothing. I'll be on the outer ring road. If you find it, just ring me. Right, I'm coming with you. Mom! I should have left you. But no, you hurt your foot. You've cut your finger, so I feel sorry for you. I come back for you, and you got me keys. What have you done? Give a monkeys about you, that's what I've done. My first big mistake. What have you done? What have I done? What have you done? Shouting out like that? I've done everything after all this time. You betray me like that, traitor! Murderer! Liar! Rapist! No! Which one is it? Which one are you not? Who were they? Those people you buried, Tim said there were two. Tim. Tim doesn't know anything. So he's not saying he's lying. Four. Four, Eileen. Four bodies, four souls. And I bore witness over all of them. You really want to know what I am? I'm not. I'm the darkness, I'm the light. I'm the creator, I'm the destroyer. I'm the accuser, I'm the prosecutor. I'm the lord of hosts. I'm the layer in wait. I'm the worst thing you can imagine. You're insane. <laughs> 
Oh. Eileen, Eileen. Well, best you wear the truth from me rather than somebody else. Who? Who were the four? Well, the first one was Michael. Yeah, you're Michael. Oh, they didn't actually kill him. It was, uh, what's that lovely word? Serendipity. So, I just watched him while his heart packed up. You see, back then, I wasn't sure I could kill, you know? That's why I locked up Andy in a cellar for months. Well, almost a year, in fact. Uh, Andy, Andy Carver? Yeah, remember our house that we were doing up, our little love nest? Hey, that tragically burnt down. He was there? Yes, love, he was there. You almost saw him once, don't you remember? Hey? And he came on one of your surprise visits. Hey? And yeah, that was a close call. But by then, love, you were so petrified at me. He didn't call out on his own accord. Daft, eh? Come on, Eileen, keep on. Think back, it'll start making sense. All the skulking around, the black eye. You killed him. Yes, I killed him. Turns out I could kill. Turns out I was pretty good at it. That and getting people to do things. You know, I got him to finish Vinny off. Andy and Vinny, the concrete twins. <laughs> and that, alas, my love, is what brings us here. Seb was right about Luke. Ah, Luke. Poor Luke. Well, Luke was an obstacle, you see, love. And then, well, by that time, I was pretty good at killing. You know, it was almost easy. It was like I couldn't lose. Not only did I get away with it, but the suspicion almost got these fascist scum locked away. How about that? It was like the universe aligning itself behind every single thing I'd done. But what I said earlier about loving you, that wasn't a lie, love. Oh, no. In fact, I even saved your life once, early doors. You and Todd. Because Vinny was determined to have both of you bumped off. No, I wouldn't have that. No, I wouldn't let him do that. I care about you, you see. I hate you. Well, that's sad. If I could have forgiven you, I could have taken you with me. You could have forgiven me? Yeah, sentimental, I know. You forgive the ones you love, don't you? You don't love me. You're incapable. Oh, no, no. You see, I thought that at the beginning. I thought that too. But then I surprised myself. Because I've got this thing about family. Family, yes. I mean, me and you. We were a family. We were a proper family. What really persuaded me was you convinced Nicola to have the baby, my grandchild. Convince anybody. Oh, yeah, you did. You might not consciously, love. But you convinced her, all right. You did that because I wanted you to. Because I wanted it. You're bad. You can call me all the names you like, love. If I care about you. And just to prove it, I'm going to give you a bit of free advice, OK? Whatever you do, don't go near that rail because it's riddled with rust. No. Don't come any closer, because if you do, I'm going to drop these keys. This is not the time to play silly beggars. Police will be on the way now. Move the keys. I'm not going anywhere. You're going to pay for what you've done. Give me the keys! Clean them. You've got to believe me. All we were doing was looking for the gun. We had no idea that, that there was bodies in there. You only knew about the gun. I've told you. 
All right, Pat showed it to me. He made me touch it so my fingerprints are on it. What is it? Detective Elstead entering the room, interview suspended, 1955. Need a word? Pronto. What? Project manager of the site confirmed Mr. Phelan was the one who laid the concrete for the pillars after everyone had gone on for the day. You're joking. And that's not all. We just found a mobile phone in the second pillar. Registered to Pat Phelan. Hand over the keys. No. If you drop those keys, Eileen, I will kill you. It's very easy, just one push. The currents around this harbour, you'd be swept out to sea. They probably wouldn't even find the body. You'd be the easiest one yet. Well, you believe me, don't you, love? You know I'm capable. Oh, yeah. Okay, so hand over the keys, and I will be out of your life forever. How do I know you're not going to kill me when I hand them over? Because I love you, honey. Come on, you know that's true. You know that's true. No, all I know is that you're a man that destroys lives. You destroyed my life. You destroyed Todd's life. You're a murderer, a rapist. No rapist! Oh, you think I'm going to believe you over Anna after everything you've done to her? That I've done to her? You made me believe that she was mad, but it was you. Hand over those keys. That's the only way this works. You've twisted everything. You've made me your accomplice. The keys. To all your disgusting, sick... Get ah! 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 Mrs. Feeling. He's gone. To the water. Coast guards are looking for his body. Oh, I heard his voice on the phone. I thought for a minute he'd. Yeah. Me too. <sighs> so you were right. Hey, there was no way you could have known what he was capable of. He had everybody fooled. No, he didn't fool me. Listen, none of this is your fault, okay? Okay? So you say they still haven't found a body? Don't worry, he's gone. I watched him go in and I made sure he didn't get out. And I hope he's rotten it up. I'll stick kettle on. Uh. 
If you need to get back. Don't be daft. We're staying with you. I don't think I can go back and face everyone. Hey. You are a victim in all this. Who's going to believe that? That I didn't know anything? They'll all believe it because they all know he was evil and he lied to you. Hey, we've all been lied to and let down. Let down? I was with him for two years. I slept in his bed while he murdered in cold blood four people. <laughs> you thought it was two? Andy Vinny. He killed Luke. And he watched Michael die of a heart attack and did nothing, and I defended him. It's OK. I thought he was going to kill me. But he didn't. Said he saved me from Vinny, that he loved me even after he'd admitted everything he'd done, and I believe him. He loved me. That doesn't mean you're to blame. Of course it does. I ignored all the signs. All the disappearing, the horrible things he said to people. Because I loved him. No, it wasn't that. It was because I thought he'd leave me and I'd, I'd be on my own. I even accused Anna of crying rape. Well, do you know what, Eileen? I am really sorry because it's my fault. I wasn't there for you enough. No. But you listen to me now. You're not going to be on your own, I promise you. Yeah, we're not going to let him ruin your life at all, Eileen. You're a good woman. I'm not. Of course you are. I'm not. <laughs> it was my fault. I didn't tell me half of it. Are you in shock, love? What didn't you tell him? Nothing. I'd, I'd, I don't know what I'm saying. I'd, oh. hey, hey, it's OK. Listen, it's over now. Speak about Patrick Phelan. Pat Phelan? Well, what exactly has he done? Well, yeah, yeah, he uh, he fitted my kitchen. Well, you know, um, it took a really long time. I thought it was strange at the time, all those unexplained absences. No. Anyway, come in. Come in. Come in. Hey, back, come in. Come in. Oh, what's going on? I'm going to tell them his ears before the gossips get stuck in. But we can't get caught up in guessing games. Do you think the police would crawl over our street like this on a hunch? They're in my orangery. He's killed four people. Wow. How can you be so certain? Well, they found two bodies last night at the site where he was working and he told Eileen there were two more. What? What? Who? Well, one might be Luke. Feeling murdered Luke? No way, man. Yeah, he's saying so, yeah. If that's true, poor Alia. The police want me to show them the work that man did on our home. So I need you two to tell Alia before she hears it from them.
did you? A bit, but we didn't need to come here. Hey, I am taking no more chances with my best friend. Then we'll get off home. I was just feeling. I said you'd be here. Um, can you talk? You were a bit distressed last night, so we just need to go over your statement again. Is that okay? You know you're going to get some stick over all this kicking up on your doorstep. I think every office is on your stream. Well, we don't know what's happened yet, do we? Well, we know two bodies were found in a ten ton of concrete of your neighbour's mobile. Uh, oh, Jess, can I have a quick word? Yeah? What's happened now? It's about Neil Clifton. He's appealing his conviction. I mean, it doesn't mean anything yet. It could be months off. Except it does. It means his lawyers think there's enough ground to question his conviction. I tried to get away from him. I was scared. He went for me, but stumbled and, and, and fell through the railings. I tried to save him, to stop him from falling, but he couldn't hold on. After that, he was gone. You okay with this? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, you have to check your toe totally happy before you sign. some story. It's the truth. Go on. On these claims your husband made, the people he told you he killed, you believe him? Yes. Everything okay, Mrs. Phelan? Done. And it's Grimshaw. You must be worn out. Are you sure you don't want to get to bed? No, as if I'd sleep. No, we went looking for a gun, not two dead bodies. We'll be in touch. Gail? Mom? It's Nicola. Come in. I'm so sorry, Nicola. Hey, what have you got to be sorry for? Well, he is still your dad. Are you okay, girl? The police know he let Michael die. That man stood over him while he lay dying. Michael warned me about him. Kai. Sweet Michael. Why don't you tell me you were going to dig up the site? Because we only had a few hours before the builders started work. Did you see them? The bodies? No. No, it was the police who found them. Even after everything, I, I can't believe that this is who he really was. Four people dead. Well, Anna. She knew what he was capable of, and no one believed her. Certainly not Eileen. Have you spoken to Anna? No, we're going to go and see her later on. But first, seems to think that she'll be waiting by the prison gates with her suitcase. Oh. God, he's wrecked so many lives. Well, not anymore. Luke. Well, the search his house, his business, defended that maybe until she lost everything. Home, job, friends. I mean, maybe she went on the run because she was in on it. Oh, this is Eileen we're talking about. Luke. Yeah, and Eileen's as hard as nails. Do you really think that any man could do a number on her? All right, all right. Even if I doubted her, which I don't, she was in the right state last night, so you should have seen her. You're in a real state today, then, aren't she? Well, I'm sorry I never doubted you. Gary. I'm fine. Just we lived it all out there now. Can you believe, Zeb? He's a proper hero. And once it all comes out that everything Mum ever did was that sick old's fault, she'll be out of that dump. 
Well, just try and stay realistic, yeah? Go on, you should get off, tell your mum to keep the chin up, will you? Yeah, I will. And if she doesn't, I'll make her. And give her my love, won't you? You know, I meant it. I, I should have taken you more seriously. Well, I just wish I'd have been wrong. Right. No more police, no more hospitals. So, you can tell me what really happened. You heard it in the statement. Pat killed, he killed people. Yeah, but did he tell you why? Money. To protect him, to protect me. Please, Liz, can we just go? Have you told him everything you know? Of course I have. So why did you... Hesitate before you signed your statement. Eileen, I know you. I told them everything that he told me. But when we first showed up, you said to me it was all your fault. When he fell. This is feeling. We found some new evidence in Whitehaven. So I'm afraid you'll have to come back with me to Weatherfield for further questioning. Why evidence? Hey, have you seen the state of it? She's not fit to be interrogated. Eileen Phelan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. I haven't done anything. As well as assisting an right, offender. Listen, go you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence anything. if you do not mention I'm when questioning Adam something Bala you later rely on in court. And if you do say, maybe may be there, given right? an evidence. Do you understand? Just remember, Eileen, you have done nothing wrong. Tell us about the Calcutta Street development. Your husband defrauded your friends and neighbours of tens of thousands of pounds, and you did nothing. No. When I found out, I, w I went to the police and... And... I, I couldn't do it. Exactly. Nothing. What about Sebastian Franklin? Right, kid. He told you about your husband's gun, and you did... Uh... Oh, nothing. Anna Windass, she told you that your husband sexually assaulted her and set her up for the sentence she's currently serving, and you did... Uh, I didn't yes. know! I didn't know! I didn't know! <laughs> Recognise this? Looks like you, doesn't it? But the name is... Streets of Frost. Found at that lovely cottage that you and your husband rented. I've never seen it before. I, I, Don't I, tell I, me. You didn't. No. You've known all along. Look, I appreciate you've got a job to do, but my client is a victim as well. So I'll keep being told, but for all I know, they did this together. To cover up the scam, perhaps. How can you say that? Because, like I said, I deal in facts and evidence. And then there's the money. The, um, 56,000 euros we found on the boat. Enough to survive for a good year or two, or more, depending on your destination. You told your friends you were planning to leave Weatherfield for good. You think we were planning to sail off into the sunset? France, maybe. Ireland. Make our getaway on some leaky old fishing boat. Perfectly seaworthy, apparently. I'm a middle-aged mum. I work in a cab office. If you only intended it for a pleasure cruise round the bay, then why do your husband hire it for a week? He didn't. There's a receipt. Presumably because he didn't want the boat hire firm to alert anyone and their boat wasn't returned. I didn't know. I, I don't know anything about this. Right now, it looks like you and your husband almost got away with it. But something went wrong. And now you want to blame everything on the one who's not here. Oh, you're wrong. People are dead. And the facts and the evidence connect you to these crimes. I loved him. <laughs> That's my crime. I married a monster. How could your husband have made a fake passport without your knowledge? Told you I've never seen it before. And then there's the money. 
56,000 euros is a lot of money to hide. You claim you didn't know about it. My client has already told you that she knew nothing about that money. Just check the bag of her fingerprints, because you won't find any, and the passport. Pat must have been deluded if he'd think I'd go anywhere with him after I found out what he'd done. I hated him. Hated him enough to want to kill him? No. It's interesting you talk about him in the past tense, because Mr. Phelan's body hasn't yet been found. Come on, he's presumed dead. Tell me again, <sighs> what happened up on that sea wall? He lunged at me and moved and he fell over the edge. Fell? Yes. I'm struggling to make sense of your version of events, I We are getting nowhere here. I'm simply trying to ascertain that things happened as your client explains, or if, in fact, she knew everything about Mr. Phelan. And when she knew we were on our way to save her own skin, she pushed him. You have got absolutely no evidence to back up what you're suggesting. And my client is the victim in all this. There's nothing she could have done to change what happened to Mr. Phelan last night. I must confess, I make a very strong cup of tea. I hope it's okay for you. I survived worse, Mrs. Gillen. You do seem in good spirits, Mr. Frost. <laughs> Here's the sewing kit you asked for. But I'm more than happy to sew your shirt up for you. I'm a dab hand with the needle and thread, though I say it myself. That's most kind. I can manage. Thank you. Won't you let me call a doctor? Some of those cuts look nasty. No, no, the hospital said all I needed was rest, Mrs. Gillen. And I let you do just that. Breakfast is at eight o'clock if that suits. Perfect. Sleep tight. And you? Don't let the frost bite. <laughs> <laughs>